Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Jenkins server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Jenkins and all of its prerequisite. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose a zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. When that is done, simply scroll down and leave the network settings as default and then click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you simply need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now before we do that, we need to create a Windows Server 2019 account which would be used as login credentials for the RDP connection. So for that, simply click on this arrow head icon and then click on set Windows password. Now this is going to open up a new dialog box which is going to ask you for the username. Type in the username and then click set. It would take a few moments but it would show you your password. So simply copy this password and store it somewhere safe. After that, simply close down this dialog box and then click on this hamburger icon and then choose compute engine. After that, you would be able to see your newly created virtual machine in this list. So what you want to do is that you want to copy the external IP of your virtual machine, hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and then paste in the IP address in front of this computer field. And then you want to click on show options and then paste in the username of the account that you have just created and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So simply paste in the password and then click OK. And then it is going to prompt you one last time. So simply click yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now, once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start using Jenkins. For that, simply click on the desktop icon that says Jenkins. Now this Jenkins server is being hosted at localhost on the port number 8080. Now as you can see that, for the very first time when you open up Jenkins, it is currently logged. So you need to provide the initial admin password. Now to get this password, simply open up a file explorer, head inside this PC, head inside the C drive, then program files x86, then Jenkins, and then secrets and in here you would find the file initial admin password right click on it click on open with and open it with notepad and then simply copy all of its content basically the key and paste it inside this field after that simply click on continue now this is going to unlock jenkins now after the jenkins has been unlocked it is going to ask you to customize jenkins according to your requirements so you can go with the suggested plugin or you can choose the plugins that you want to install so i'm going to simply select plugins to install so that i can show you all of the plugins that come with jenkins so as you can see that this is the list of all the plugins that you can install in your jenkins and customize it according to your requirements so once you have done selecting the plugins that you want to install simply click on this install button and then wait for the installation process to complete now once the plugin have been installed it is going to ask you to create a first admin user. So simply provide in the required details as username, password, confirm the password and then type in the complete name of the admin. After that simply click on save and continue. And then it is going to ask you for the Jenkins URL. You can leave it as default and then click on save and finish. And then your Jenkins is ready to be used. So simply click on start using Jenkins. Now that is going to bring you towards this Jenkins dashboard. From here you can create pipelines and create jobs. Now to create a very simple job, simply click on this button that says create new jobs and then type in the name of your first job. So I'm going to call this one as task one. And then you need to select the type of the project that you're trying to complete or achieve. So I'm going to select this one and then click on OK. After that, it is going to ask you to provide more details about the project. So it is going to ask you about the description and other details. Once you're simply done with all of these settings, simply click on save to actually create this job. Now, as you can see that we are now inside the project task one. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Jenkins server on Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.